I'm disappointed uh, because I think we can have a better community without the Conservatives closing our hospitals and underfunding our schools. But that's the decision that people have taken. What's clear overall is this has been a disastrous night for the Conservatives. Theresa May called an election as a referendum on herself and then she failed to turn up to take part in that referendum. She's taken a Conservative Party that had a majority in the House of Commons and eroded that majority. And the biggest loser of all of this will be the British people and the British economy, who now face months of uncertainty before a new government can be formed, if not another general election. Stephen, where do you think this leaves politics in Cornwall? I mean, you know, we've seen quite a, a change, haven't we, really? Yeah. I'm, in, I'm encouraged by the number of new people that have come forward to take part in the political process over this election. I think we've seen record turnout in a number of constituencies in Cornwall, and that has to be a good thing, that more and more people are engaging with the political process here in Cornwall and, and addressing some of the issues that we face. Obviously, that poses some challenges for the traditional way that politics has been done. But actually, more engagement, more debate, more people involved, that's all for the better. I mean, the, the division in the anti-Conservative vote is more pronounced than it's been. And that clearly makes it more difficult to vote them out. I think what's clear is actually there is an anti-Conservative majority across Cornwall. And there is an argument that that anti-Conservative majority needs to be more effective and more clear in making the choices plain to voters across Cornwall. I grew up here, I'm from Cornwall. I know that this community isn't the sort of community uh, that turns its back on the most vulnerable, that leaves the weakest in society alone. You know, we live up to our motto, one and all. That's not the conservative uh, motto. And I think over the coming weeks and months, all people of progressive politics in Cornwall will want to take stock on what's happened tonight.